Our program is currently the first certified in the world under the Vera Plastic Waste Reduction Standard. So what that guarantees for our clients is that funding that they give is essentially driving real world impact. Um, it is driving measurable impact and it is driving impact that wouldn't have happened otherwise. So I'm uh, Nick Supatravanit. I am the director at uh, Second Life. So the main problems that Second Life is trying to solve is a market issue. What we're seeing is that for ocean and island territories in particular, in countries where there is lacking waste infrastructure, that the cost to get this plastic from the island back to the mainland to be recycled is higher than the price that these collectors would get for the sale of that plastic. If they were to collect and deliver this plastic at normal market prices, essentially they would be losing money um, every single trip that they make. And so what we do is that we partner with brands to help raise this uh, market price by 50 to sometimes 100% depending on the location of this plastic and this helps to cover extra costs associated with ocean plastic collection, for example, boat fuel costs, extra labor costs, uh, and so on and so forth. So the main way that we have been able to make this happen has really been through the plastic credit finance system. With the plastic credit finance system, similar to the carbon credit finance system, we are able to essentially sell the services related to collection and recycling. And so these services are sold as extra tons of waste that is collected on behalf of the brands that engage with us. And so one credit equals one extra ton of plastic that wouldn't be collected or recycled otherwise. We are also supporting different land-based initiatives, particularly for low-value plastic, things like MLP, which is multi-layer packaging. One of the activities that we do is actually that we support Asia Green Roads activity, which is a land plastic collection and recycling activity based in the north of Thailand in Lampung. Through that, we sponsor the machinery, which enables low-value plastic to essentially be recycled into new products, things like paving blocks, or even new pellets that can then be re-entered into the circular plastic supply chain. I think for brands, if they want to engage, then we're obviously very, very happy to listen and talk and work through as well with the team what are the different goals that they have, how might uh, Second Life fit into their overarching sustainability objectives. And for consumers, we also have a personal plastic offset program, and that's where consumers can engage on a personal level to offset their plastic footprint. We are very grateful for the support from Second Muse, and the incubation network and being able to make this accelerator happen, provide the support for us and also, of course, other local players within the sustainability field.